Good morning, family. This is Liani. And today's video is role models. Who is setting the standard for women? So I'm going to give you guys like four verses uh, from the Bible and what it states. So the first one is 1 Peter 3, 3 through 4. The second one is 1 Timothy 2, 9 through 10. The third one is Deuteronomy 22 and 5. And the last one is 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19 through 20. So those are the verses. And I'll also have it in the description box also. So in case you need to reference it again. So let's go to the first one. And that's in Peter. 1 Peter. So give you guys a second while I also get to it but also there's a praise report um i went for my 12 month checkup with my colorectal surgeon and he said my bowels were good everything was good everything was clear so that's great news he didn't have to go in and then you know uh with the balloon and deflate or anything like that everything was clear thank god so it's been a blessed week moses has a good bella health you know my husband is healthy everybody as well so i'm grateful for that but we're going to get back to this word. So um, 1 Peter 3, 3 through 4. Give me a second so I can get it to. Okay. 1 Peter 3, 3 through 4 reads, Don't be concerned about the outward beauty of fancy hairstyles, expensive jewelry, or beautiful clothes. You should clothe yourselves instead with the beauty that comes from within the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is so precious to God. Um, four, yep, I read that. I just wanted to make sure I read everything. So that's what he said about our outward beauty. Inward beauty is the most important. Um, the next one is 1 Timothy 2, 9 through 10. 1 Timothy 2, 9 through 10. And give me a second so I can get there as well. Moving a little slow today. Um, so I was up doing my hair last night because it's cooler at night. So bear with me. But anyway, 1 Timothy 2 and it's uh, verses 9 through 10. So let me see. 2 and then we got 9 through 10 reads. And I want women to be modest in their appearance. They should wear decent and appropriate clothing and not draw attention to themselves by the way they fix their hair or wearing gold or pearls or expensive clothes. That's what it says. Go to the third one, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Give me a second too because I'm trying to get there as quickly as I can. All right. Yeah. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I'm almost there. All right, here it goes. So 22 and 5 reads, a woman must not put on men's clothing and a man must not wear women's clothing. Anyone who does this is detestable in the sight of the Lord your God. Y'all, that's what the Lord said. The Lord our God said that. Don't be wearing the men's clothing. I know that sometimes women like to go and get shirts or sweatpants or things of that nature from the men's section. But you see what it's saying in his word. His word don't change whether it's Old Testament or New Testament, which we have the New Testament we're under grace because of what the Lord did on the cross. But be clear, he said that none of his word will pass away. So you got to just put it in the proper context. Not say, OK, well, that's old, that's new. But still, that's what he wants his women to be in modest apparel, not drawing attention to themselves by the hairstyles or what they wear or clothing. Now, also take note that God looks inward. And man looks outward, but still he knows, even though he knows your heart, you still got to be respectful because this is your temple. All right, going on to the fourth uh, verse, uh, for, not verse, but scripture. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 19 through 20. And give me a second as well, excuse me, so I can gather myself and get there also. It's so hard trying to hold this thing with one hand and then I'm trying to multitask with the other. All right, I'm almost there. All right, so 1 Corinthians 6 and it's 19 through 
20. And that one reads, 1 Corinthians 6, give me a second, give me a second. I'm in 2 Corinthians, y'all. See, this is what happens. This is what happens when it's early. <laughs> this is what happens. All right, take two. So 1 Corinthians 6, and then it's verse 19 through 20. It's Monday, y'all. Just bear with me. Um. All right, here it is. Don't you realize that your body is the temple for the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? And it has a question mark. You do not belong to yourself. That's what it says. You do not belong to yourself. For God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. You see that? You must. It says you must honor God with your body. The Holy Spirit was given to us by God. It is a temple. So that means you can't be dressing and putting in any and everything. Don't be sleeping with people. You know, women, your husbands. That's who it's for. Your husband, not a boyfriend. A boyfriend, God don't even honor a boyfriend inside the Bible anywhere. People went straight to marriage. If they were uh, fond of somebody, they went straight to marriage. It wasn't a thing of, okay, I'm going to date this person or you know what have you even you see the men in the bible like uh one of the men in the bible worked seven years plus another seven years until the father he got a, the father's approval to marry the woman but it wasn't like how the world has it where you're just like dating a bunch of people or these shows that they have where people are like kissing a bunch of people and dating them trying to figure out if they gonna be with them or marry them or all that uh foolishness stay away from that kind of stuff who is raising who is raising this generation of young and old women? I'm telling you the other day, I saw a little girl, she must have been about seven years old, had a belly shirt on, little, little shorts. And I'm thinking, what in the ham sandwich is going on where mothers are or whoever dressed the little girl? Because some people live with their father, but I saw a little girl with a mom. Who are letting these little babies come out the house with these mini skirts and these looking like a grown person where grown people shouldn't eat, grown women, we shouldn't even be wearing them things. When you know better, you're going to do better. But she came out the house like that. And I'm thinking, what is happening to this world where if you, you trying to do something right or you're doing the right way or you're, you're, even your freedom of speech or whatever, it's like you're going to get banned or they're going to get canceled or people want to have an attitude and cuss you out about it when you're doing stuff that's in alignment with God's will they have no whole fit over there but the little girl ain't had no clothes on and I'm like how is this acceptable that nobody is a lot of people are spiritually dead they weren't conscious her mom wasn't conscious that that's inappropriate is men out here you don't want them looking at the little girl or somebody trying to take the little girl but this is what happened I seen on um one of these advertisements, a little girl had a grown hairstyle like an adult would have. It was braided. I was like, oh, it's a nice style, but it's nice for somebody that is age appropriate. You can't just be trying to dress these kids up looking like adults saying, oh, you look so cute. No, that's not cute. That's out of order. You see what God say to be modest in their apparel. And that go for the younger ones, which means that the older ones, the parents, the women, speaking to the women, Please make sure your child is covered. Cover them not only in prayer, not only with the blood of Jesus Christ and the full arm of God, but let their apparel be adorned with that. Meaning you set this standard, you set the bar, not these TV shows, not these celebrities that's hanging off poles and getting on the ground, dancing like a dog and shaking it behind and everybody like, oh, that's good. That's the culture. No, it's not. That's out of order, especially if you call yourself a Christian. Please don't let your child see you like that. And please don't let your child walk out the house like that. It's out of order. It's out of order. God is not pleased. You got to watch over the little ones because that's what he set you there for. So you can be the example so that you can set the standard. Not with TV. I don't care what they're doing in this world. I don't care what they got on the TV, who was popular, who famous, and none of that stuff. I don't even care for celebrities like that. I could walk past one and it don't make me a difference one way or another because they're not Jesus. They're not God. And they are not filled with the Holy Spirit. A lot of them ain't filled with the Holy Spirit. So I don't care one way or the other. Don't let them look up to these Barbies and all this other nonsense that's going on in the world, please. You be the standard. You set the example. And how the women of old, how the women in the Bible, the way the Lord our God says. 
Let's get it together. If we call ourselves Christians, let's walk this thing out. I know we all got areas that we got to work, walk, work on, excuse me, including myself. But try the best you can each day that you get. You repent and then you go and you sin no more and try it again. But set the example while you're still here. So that way when you long gone, that child, when they grow up or if they're already grown, they're going to remember the standard that she says. Oh, my mom taught me this because that's what the women do. They teach the younger women how to be and respect their husbands and to do the things, care for their children, things of that nature. Let's get back to that. God bless you all. This is Liani. Have a great day, family.